Hold up. What it is. Hey, man. Welcome to Discussions, man. Thanks for having me. This is David Lantman, y'all. He sat here not too long ago and told me, hey, let's just talk. So here we are just talking, and he's got a new song out um, called Better Words. It's been out for a little bit, but we want to talk about you know, where it came from, why you wrote it, why does it sound like it came from the 90s, <laughs> why do I love that so much, and then um, it looks like you got a little bit of the word you want to spit to us about, you know, about the origins of the song or whatnot. So thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> so how you been, man? I've been good, man. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you got this song called Better Words. And truth be told, with all these words that are flying around these days, none of them are good. So we all need some better words, truth be told. But yeah. tell me a little bit about the title. Why did you call it Better Words? And like, what's what's the whole deal about that? Is that what I'm thinking? Maybe. Um uh, it's interesting because I don't come up with the song names a lot until I'm done recording and so better words is like something I say in the chorus and yeah. um, in the post chorus I think and so um, I just think that was the you know I think about when I say it in the song and also I think about kind of what it would look like on a on an album cover and also what it would look like in a, in a tracking so there's a lot of other things that I take in, in, in mind when I'm you know looking at it and considering what the title would be so. gotcha gotcha yeah yeah, you know what, um, you never, we never think of it, but there is a process to making a song. Everybody has a different one. Uh, you uh, sound like you have a certain way you like to make all your songs. Are they all, do they all have a recipe? No. They don't. They're all different, and it's Every crazy. Every one of them's different. Okay. It's crazy because, like, I guess I'm, another way of saying thinking outside the box when it comes to songwriting is just surrendering it over and allowing the spirit to do it in its own time okay in his own time and uh i've learned to become comfortable when i don't when i'm getting frustrated and i don't have the next word to say yeah i i've known i've had experiences in the past that tell me just just you know surrender it for now and then pick it up later when you feel like it's god's time so you're not mad when you have to put it on the shelf you can come back to it later and yeah absolutely yeah so you know you wait until you're inspired to actually pick up the pen and finish a song, right? Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yeah. Okay, and I I hear that some of your songs don't even start out the way they are now. Like they were completely different, and then you come back and you're like, remix, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So, tell us one song that we might hear that was remixed. Nine or ten years ago, when we started recording music, me and my friend Steve. Yeah. Uh, we wanted a song that sounded like Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, I just trusted him because I would come into the studio with my guitar and he would um, work the controls and do the mouth drums and everything because he was listening to Timbaland like all the time. Ah, everybody wanted to be Timbaland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, t it was uh, Sierra, Pharrell, um, and... Justin Timberlake, he was and Rihanna. He was listening to all those songs and wanting to sound like that. So he, yeah. um, he he made this track and, and it's got the pianos like dun 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 dun, dun like the rah rah type sound. Oh gosh, yeah. And it it was, I think it was called uh, like weapon of her choice. She's a killer. She's a killer. Just something that's like epic, like the mm -hmm. a club banger. Yeah. And uh, so and then we we turned around and uh, now it's it's called uh, love your enemies. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's a good flip. That's a good flip. Well, that's good. Hey, you know, whenever you start out with a song, you know, that may be a secular song, it's they all can be they all can be flipped for the Lord. I mean, truth be told, we get flipped over time. You know, you're sitting there secular all day, like throughout your life, maybe church on Sunday, but then something may hit you, and then you you flip over. So, what's the time like where Dave Lampman? came out as a remix for the Lord, you know, was that, what, what was that time that made you say, ah, these songs need to be yeah. Christ-like? There's another song, it's it's going to be called Walk Anyway, 
Okay. And that, that talks about, I mean, I, w- I was going to church every Sunday, like you said, mm-hmm. but I wasn't really living it out because I wasn't surrounding all my areas to God. One of those big areas was music. Yeah, okay. And so he he allowed me to have numbness and twitching and tingling in my hands. And, um, <laughs> he yeah. said, you ain't right nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and I'm yeah. thankful for that. Back, you know, yeah. back when it happened, I was like, why would you give me this gift and then take it away again? Hey. Like, man, I, aren't, aren't you like, I'm, I'm bringing people to you. And, and he's up there going, David, you're, you're, you're half in. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I want you to sing about what's going on in your heart right now. And mm-hmm. I, I am in there and I am going to show you a new thing. So just surrender that over. So for nine months, I was on my knees in my apartment mm-hmm. crying out to God, what? is going to happen. Why would you give it? And he said, you just, just sing about me. And so nine months later, mm-hmm. I had this song in my head. And when I got my abilities back, I grabbed the guitar and walk yeah. anyway happened. So that was when I realized that it's okay to trust God with um, those areas in your life that you feel like you can't even imagine how cool it will be. Or, mm-hmm. or is it going to be boring Christian music? And so I was really, really happy when I made that song because it still sounded good. And I'm like, thank you, Lord. That, that song does sound good. <laughs> I have had a sneak peek of that. Um, did that answer your question at all? It you does, were yeah, about it flipping did. for the Lord. It did because I mean that was a time where not only you didn't just make the decision to flip, you were made to have that decision to flip, and a lot of us end up that way where we're sitting there on our backs, like, okay, well, Lord, uh, okay, I, I'm looking up. That what flip, do you want me to do? Flip. Flip. Game over. Yeah, well, it was game over for you talking about twitching and stuff like that, <laughs> man. Tag on, how do you drive? You had a left hand. Twitch. I had to quit. Well, I wasn't. I was riding my bike, but I had to quit my job. I was a server. Um, Tag me habit. Computer. So that was real. It yeah, you all yeah. Areas. And uh, I was seeing a lot of doctors. They put needles in my hands and tried to test for <laughs> muscular <laughs> dystrophy and, and uh-huh. stone young carpal tunnel and. Um, mm-hmm. it, it was literally the diagnosis was uh, God just wants to remix your music. <laughs> Doctors looking at it, going, uh, "Must be from the Holy Spirit." <laughs> <laughs> sure, I don't don't have a pharmacy for that. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Well, um, I want to move on. I really don't see the timer here, but um, you had a scripture that you wanted to to put out, and I'm not quite sure what it is you'd like to say. But what is it that you want them to know? right now about about the lord uh from from your bible here what do you have for us today okay thank you sir Mm -hmm. um you know god really really cares about all of his children and his children are always talking to each other every day you know like us yeah okay and um some things i i have struggled with is listening to people um a lot of times when people are talking i'm i'm in my head trying to plan out what I'm going to say instead of really listening. Oh, and, I'm, I'm that guy too. <laughs> yes. So this song is is kind of a confession. I, I feel like if I treat my yeah. music releases as confessions, it shows me that I'm, uh, I'm more genuine in my faith because I don't want to be that artist that sings about things that I don't struggle with. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I had a, di- a disagreement with my sister around the time I was writing the words for this song and okay. and I didn't know how I was going to reconcile that relationship mm-hmm. and uh, you know God always speaks through his word and through the church and so you know the brother of Jesus James he wrote in chapter 3 taming the tongue he said mm. uh, not many of you should become teachers my brothers for you know that we who will teach will be judged with greater strictness for we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. It talks about if we put bits in the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Mm-hmm. So this this part right here, um, I started thinking about this song, and I had a complete different song on the guitar when it talked about ships. Um, Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also mm-hmm. the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. So there's this little part of us that it says, it'll say later that it's set on fire by hell itself. Gotcha. And, you know, Satan prowls around like a roaring lion seeking to whom he may devour. Mm-hmm. Whom he may devour. And he can be around two people when they're talking and he can bring up memories of what you're mad at the other person about and and you know if I don't pray about a conversation before I go into it like man the enemy will have my tongue the whole time yeah yeah you know what that the tongue you know even even the army says you know loose lips sink ships you know your mouth 
has the ability to bring and you know build up and to tear someone down. And I think you mentioned that in your song. You know, there's some some elements of that, and and that makes tons of sense because I could go straight to someone and say, you know, you suck at life, and they may take that literally and jump off a bridge. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That guy was right, and he didn't even know me. So just dive in. Yeah. So you know, we have to watch our tongue. But there's only so much we can do, right, mm -hmm. on our own. So yeah. that's why I think the word is, is a great reminder of, you know, hey, watch what you say. So is that kind of what this song's about? It is, it is. Um, okay. I'm wondering, do you have a way we can play this? Yeah, uh, just definitely. Just a small clip because definitely. there's a lyric in there I really want to get get to next. And um, okay. It says right here, it says, No human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison in verse 8 of chapter 3. And I say, there's poison on my tongue, and it's taking lives away. Wow. It's stealing hope, it's crushing dreams, and it's such a filthy shame. I want people to know that I'm frustrated with my own mouth. Mm -hmm, and, and, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to work on this so that I can just love you. I think all of us need to hear this. All right, here we go. So, you know, first off, I got to say, that sound, that will stay stuck in your head all day. Why? Because it's like this poppy, bouncy, like, I okay. can walk down the street to that song. Okay. It sounds really good. Matter of fact, you might do an instrumental and just let, you know, old ladies jam yeah. through the mall <laughs> with that song sound. In, in Speedwalkers in the mall. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Why am I going fast? No, You're I like onto that. something. You're, you are a marketing genius. Hey, you might have <laughs> yeah. to do it. You might have to remix the name, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it, you know, it talks about just the, the forest fire, you know, being caused by such a small spark. And, and I just... It's just something that I'm really frustrated in my own life. And so as I go on to release this song, that's a declaration to say I want to work on this. But as I keep performing it and singing it over and over and over again, it's going to be a daily reminder to myself that, mm -hmm. look, you don't have it all together. You're responsible for your words, and you need to start paying attention to how, how loving you are to other people. So. That's awesome. Man, we all need to use better words. Because mm. our words that just naturally come out ain't good. They ain't good. <laughs> Man, no, they're not. No, they're not. But look, thank you for the reminder. Uh, this song, when is it going to be available? It's available now. Now! Yeah. So we can we can jam to this right now in the mall. I know some of us go to the mall. I can barely keep up with them ladies in the mall. <laughs> I, I'm sweating almost always. Man, we'll so, have to we'll, you, tell me where you live and we'll have to come in and... I'll yeah. fly out and we can find a mall and just, mm. just go for and it. And I'll try to I'll try to keep up with your track. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do it. You have a slow spot in the song that I could kind of speaking catch of my slow. Breath. Yeah, it's it's uh, we're in an age where you can get my music instantly and you can get it off mm -hmm. of Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, YouTube Music, any anywhere you need to be. That's that's um, it's there for you. So. Awesome. So we we want to walk slow but have instant music. I think I'll be taking advantage of that for awesome. sure. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Dave, thank you. Thank you. David Lampman. I'm sitting here talking like I know you. I mean, I kind of do, but, you know, when it comes down to it, everybody needs to know your name, David Lampman. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, find you on YouTube, probably the easiest, most free place to find you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll look, we're going to be looking for this song. Awesome. It's already there, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you for the discussions, y'all. We are with David Lantman once again. Y'all have a wonderful night. Take care.